Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Marine One. I thought today that uh, I'd share um, what I use for uh, testing, as far as testing my water parameters, uh, what I feed, some of my maintenance routines. Um, so we'll start off with, uh, I test salinity with my uh, BRS refractometer. I calibrate it every time I use it. Um, and then also, I do have a um, salinity probe, but um, I found out that those really aren't that accurate. Um, for example, I just tested my salinity yesterday and it was 1.026, and that should be 35 parts per million. My apex reads like 33 parts per million, so um, I, I'd rather use this just because I know I'm calibrating it every time it's going to be accurate and as far as the salinity probes I've tried to recalibrate it it just will not show like the proper read I don't know if I'm getting ear bowls in the probe or what but um, I just go off the uh, the refractometer so um, I usually do that uh, probably about twice a week at least um, because honestly salinity if it varies uh, it will affect like all your other parameters so it's actually probably it is the most important because um, if it fluctuates uh, and if you have big fluctu fluctuations like if your auto top off goes crazy dumps a bunch of fresh water um, it could drop all your levels and it's just not good for your tank so uh, daily, I test the alkalinity with the Hannah Checker. Um, I try to do it daily. Um, most days I do. Um, if not, it's every other day. And if I'm making an adjustment um, with my calcium reactor, uh, like I am right now, um, I definitely test it daily. Uh, super easy to use. Uh, I can do this test and about a minute um, and the reagents are fairly cheap I think they're six bucks and you can get 30 tests out of them uh, one thing I would mention is with these little pens um, in the tip of that pen after you use them there will be a little reagent left just rinse that out with some RODI water and let it air dry because that stuff will kind of uh, stay in there and it will uh, not harden but it will kind of Get into like this kind of chunky stuff and then it'll float around in your vial so make sure you rinse that out and that goes for like all of these vials I always rinse, rinse them out and let them air dry with um, RODI water so on to the next one that I probably test the most would be um, nitrate I probably do once a week and I use the Red Sea nitrate Pro test kit um, that's definitely at least once a week uh, just because I'm uh, right now I'm about one part per million on nitrate so if it um, it's it's fairly stable so but I do like to keep an eye on it uh, especially uh, right now for instance uh, I want to bring my alkalinity up to about eight so I want to make sure there is some nitrates in the system um, or I'm gonna get burn tip on my Acropora so um, very easy to use um, you can do this test um, I can usually do the test in about two to three minutes but then you have a nine minute period for the reaction so but then what I usually do is I do this one first and once I hit that nine minute period I set a timer and then I'll do like my alkalinity and then I'll do calcium and by the or not calcium uh, magnesium and by the time that's done um, you know I've basically done all my tests so and on to the next one would be magnesium I use the salifert one this is uh, it's been around forever really easy to read I actually do have the nitrate pro uh, magnesium test kit too but I actually just use this one and uh, speaking of that, I'm almost out of uh, reagent there. So, um, but the tank is maintained 
um, on a daily dose of magnesium, which is the center chamber of this dosing container I built. This holds a little under four gallons per chamber, so uh, it just lasts forever. And I, my daily dose right now is actually about 25. So, and that's run off the uh, Coral Box Wi-Fi doser. But uh, magnesium is kind of one of those forgotten elements. Um, like I just said, I my tank consumes 25 milliliters of magnesium per day. So that's quite a bit. So um, that's something that I started about, oh, I want to say about a year ago, is just a maintaining daily dose of magnesium. So it's really helped out. But uh, this, I mean, maybe every two weeks. Uh, it's been rock solid now for like six months, so... I mean, I guess if I get bored, I'll do it, but... <laughs> um, and then on to phosphates, uh, the URL, ULR checker, the HANA checker. Um, I rarely test phosphates. I mean, I think I did it two months ago, and I was just kind of curious. I wasn't even testing to, you know, because I had a problem. I just want to kind of see what they were, and they were 0 0.02. So, um, you know, the thing with phosphates is um, just read your tank, and if you're cleaning the glass every day, you probably have a phosphate issue. Um, for me, uh, I clean the glass maybe every five days, so my phosphates are in check. Um, I mean, they could even go higher than that. I have six tangs in here. They just absolutely devour algae. So, um, but yeah, phosphates, it's really just not important. It's really not existent. So really traceable in this tank. So, um, yeah, this one usually just sits, sits in my test, con test kit container. So, um, what else we got? Oh, temperature probe. Um, I usually recalibrate my temp temperature probes on my Apex about every month. So you can actually uh, calibrate these probes in ice water so um, they are accurate. So and that's actually another uh, fairly important parameter that you don't want to swing because that can cause big problems. Um, Red Sea Nitrate Pro Iodine. Um, it's fairly rare. I do dose iodine about every two weeks. Um, but if I notice if my Chato and Clarepa are turning kind of brown or white, um, I'll dose some iodine. I actually just did the iodine test the other day and it was 0 0.06, I believe. But it was right on the money. So um, that's usually how I, how I can tell if this is turning brown um, or if it's turning white. I know that there's really not enough iodine in the water. So, uh, what else? So that, yeah, that's maybe like once a month, every two months maybe. Uh, strontium. Uh, I, I maybe done this, this test like twice since I've had this kit for a year. Um, it's kind of a difficult test to do, but once you do it a couple times, you get the hang of it. It's not that bad. But, um, yeah, I mean, on and off, I, you know, if I'm curious, I'll 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 do the test, um, and it's fairly accurate. Uh, and then the iron on the Red Sea, and the potassium on the Red Sea. That's about every two months, three months. But um, actually, I do, and I want to send one in as my Triton test kits. Um, I'm probably actually going to do that today. I'm going to send one of those in. So I do those about every like three or four months. Um, but uh, if you haven't done a Triton test kit before, um, I, I would do it just to see uh, what your what your tank's at. Um, it gives you you know a lot of different uh, readings. It actually gave me, if you look back at my previous videos, um, I had Marine Pure BioBlocks in there, and it was leaching out um, some heavy metals in my water. So you know I took those out because it's re ceramics, and you know, what do you know, it went away. So, um, you know, the Triton testing, uh, it's legit, it's it's expensive. So, you know, doing it every month is really not an option for me, but you know, every like three or four months, you know, so it's not bad. All right, so uh, food, 
Uh, so we got some Reef Chili. We got some Reef Roids. Uh, we got some New Life Spectrum pellets. Small pellets and then the LG pellets, the large ones. Uh, we have some shredded nori that I just shred myself. Um, I usually uh, put any of the pellets, uh, put it in the silicon. And then these uh, gold, these gold pods by Niles. Um, these are really good for your smaller fish, or if you have a mandarin, if you don't really have a um, a good refugium or a copepod population. Uh, I really don't need to dose this, but the fish do like it. So, and then the uh, PE mysis saltwater pellets. Um, these are usually daily for the pellets, and then the nori. Um, they they just crush nori like crazy. I probably go through two full sheets of nori a day at least. And then in the uh, auto feeder, I have the New Life Spectrum small pellets for the small fish. So and then I also do uh, I make my own food, um, which is a combination of reef roids, reef chili, mysis shrimp, um, nori, silicon, and some other stuff. And that's usually once every other day. So um, that's what I feed, that's how I test. Um, and then over here, this kind of layout of my little like work area, my tank's right here. Um, right underneath this table is a 40 gallon barrel for uh, salt water. I don't really do water changes. Uh, I would say I do them, well I do do water changes. I do about 10, well 20% a month um, and I have a pump in there that recirculates and just have to flip a switch on my apex and it fills up my sump and then over here that's my dosing container as I showed you earlier um, and the left is um, soda ash for alkalinity the middle is magnesium and the right is calcium and that's the bulk resupply uh, mix and then over here is a shelf that a bucket of stuff behind there, some CO2 absorbent media. There's an extra light behind there. This is my RODI unit, um, six stage, the bulk resupply, which I need to change my DI resin. It's nearly exhausted. A new Apex head unit that's brand new in the box. So I just need to install it. And then the RODI unit has a booster pump on it. Um, but my water pressure, let's see if I can get it. You can read that without the booster pump it's about uh, 6364 psi which is actually really good but you turn that booster pump on it's like 95 and then below that is uh, my 20 gallon um, ATO reservoir um, with a float valve in it and over here it's kind of hard to get to but down here is all my electronics, my apex head units, modules, my coral Wi-Fi, coral box Wi-Fi doser, which is a good doser by the way, and like power bricks and stuff like that. But yeah, so testing, that's pretty much my regiment. Um, that's what I use. Uh, I find all of these test kits uh, very easy to use. And, um, you know, alkalinity is the main one, and salinity, nitrates for me, that's what I keep track of. So, all right, guys, well, um, that's about it. And if you have any questions or comments, put them down below. And we will see you next time.